My freshman year, a group of friends and I were going to a party off campus and our friend, who's African American, was not allowed into a party at that fraternity because of the color of their skin. Junior year, I had a sociology class centered around ethics that I really enjoyed. That was until the day that I was called into my professor's office to explain where on earth I could have gotten the information that I used in a writing assignment for the class. She highly praised what I'd written, but continuously asserted that she couldn't quite wrap her head around where I could have gotten that type of information, simply because it was just that insightful. I vividly remember her looking down the entire time she was questioning me, never once looking me in the eye and sheepishly tossing my paper back and forth while she explained that she had tried to research where I must have found this information online, blatantly implying that there was no way I could have come up with something so brilliant myself. She can argue until her last breath that my race didn't play in, into her questioning the validity of my individual work on the assignment, but let's keep it real. She had the audacity to call me into her office and questioned me even after her Google search turned up zero results attributing my work to anything already existing. What she was saying to me, in far fewer words, was that there was no possible way a little black girl like me could have the intellect to form such poignant thoughts in such an eloquent way on her own. Incidents like this have caused me to look back on my Lehigh career as not being so fond at times. There was a time I was in the FML cafe and I was waiting to meet a friend of mine. As I was waiting, these two girls, who I'm assuming were freshmen, were discussing a class they were both taking and about the project they were working on. One of the girls said, you know, I'm pretty surprised he didn't know much about the subject. And the other girl replied lightheartedly, I know, but I'm pretty sure he's playing the dumb Indian card. I've never felt so heartbroken and disappointed in my life when I heard that, especially from someone who was younger than me and who was of Latin descent. It was very jarring as they both laughed at the comment. I'm not someone that is of Indian descent, and I, but I still felt the pain and the impact of hurt and disgust. To be honest, I was ashamed because of my shock and disgust. I wasn't able to speak up. However, I believe that shock of knowing that there are still people voicing their views and that they're not even the class stereotype of an older person born in different times. This instilled in me that it's taught no matter what circumstances you're in. I am of Chinese heritage, and after not doing well in pre-med classes freshman year, my friend said, aren't you supposed to be good at math and that type of stuff? You're disappointing your Asian ancestors. I am the only person of color in my friend group. I grew up with a kind of family that was comfortable with racist jokes and passive racism. And I also attended a predominantly white, wealthy, private high school. I didn't think having friends with little shared life style experiences would be a problem until it was. My friends would make jokes about the kind of people I consider my family. They saw people like my parents and extended family as job stealers and people who caused the virus. It hurts knowing that people who would usually have my back would so easily insult my family. 